Hey, what's up? Um, my name is Lou. They call me Sweet Lou Olatosin. Um, I'm a jazz singer, but I haven't always been the jazz singer. I didn't even realize that I was gonna be a jazz singer. Well, born in uh, Gary, Indiana, lived there for a while as a child, but my parents, my mom and dad, decided that uh, the streets of East Chicago and Gary, Indiana were getting pretty rough, so they moved us down south, and I finished high school in uh, Mississippi. So I had a lot of transition to do, a, there was a lot to learn from being in the Midwest in the early 60s and going down to Jackson, Mississippi in the early mid 70s. Big uh, transition there. Uh, gospel was really a lot more of my background and the home that I came up in, my mom was a missionary and my dad had, uh, had worked in the steel mill in Indiana but had gotten sick, so he was at home quite a bit. So the gospel was what I really came up on. We were in church all the time, and in, in our house, <laughs> um, there was two types of music. You had gospel, and then you had blues. Everything that wasn't gospel was blues. And there was only one type of music that was allowed in my mom and dad's house, and that was gospel. So. Uh, I didn't get into any of the R&B or the jazz or the blues or any of that because it just wasn't allowed in our house. So I really thought that I was more on the path of a gospel singer until one day I um, was hanging out with some friends and heard an Al Jarreau song on the radio and it just blew my mind the things that uh, Al Jarreau was doing vocally. And from that day on, I started paying real attention every chance I could to uh, jazz music. And jazz really just started calling me from that point on. I began doing some studies about it, learning, listening, every chance I could. And I think it, it actually called me. So I, I think um, when it comes to family life, the strongest inputs that I had was my mom and my dad, my, both my mom and dad. I was fortunate. I lived with my mom and my uh, father and my brothers and sisters, large family. Uh, I had four brothers and I had two sisters and we all lived together, at least at different times. Um, so there was a lot of love to be shared around. Of course, my older brothers were uh, into steering and kind of conjoling me to do one thing or another. Me being a middle kid, I think I kind of became the moderator, if you would. Uh, but the things that my mom and my dad always instilled in me was do the best you can, no matter what you're doing, and we're gonna support you. Um, left my mom and dad's house and I went in the military. And part of the reason I did that was because my older brother was in the military. Actually, all of my older brothers had been in the military. My dad had served in the military. His dad had served in the military. My mom's dad had served in the military. So it was kind of a natural uh, occurrence for me to go as well. I went in the Air Force initially, uh, did my four years. I got out and swore, swore it all off. I said for sure, I will never do military life again. It's over with, I got it out of my system. And uh, as it turns out, I came back to Mississippi. Um, and within 18 months, I was in the National Guard. It turned out that I was pretty good at, at, in the uh, military service because uh, I retired uh, about a year or so ago now. And uh, I made the rank of Colonel before retiring. Um, so even though I was kind of a reluctant leader, uh, I seem to be uh, pretty good at it. I think you, you get to a point in life when you have to find out exactly who you are and you have to be cool with that. It doesn't mean that everybody around you is going to uh, identify with who you are or accept who you are or appreciate who you are, but you have to identify with who you are, really, I mean deep down inside and you have to be cool with that. If you're not cool with it, you have to get cool with it because you're gonna be with yourself for a long time. And I think I did that through some of the experiences that I had in dealing with people in the military and dealing with people in the police services because that was my civilian job. But all along, while I was doing all this military and the police service uh, things, music was the thing that kept me going. It kept me grounded and it didn't matter if I was in the combat zone um, in Afghanistan or in Desert Storm, it didn't matter. During all those times, the music that was in my heart and in my soul that I know 
God gave me has sustained me and kept me going. It's, it's gotten me through some of the darkest places that I could, that probably anyone could imagine. Now, I, I'm focused now on the music and the jazz just continues to call to me. The more that I learn about jazz, the more that I share about it. The more that I share with others, the more it seems to enrich me. I think it was Sonny Rollins who said, everybody should strive to be the most perfect person that they can, the most perfect self that they can every day. And I try to do that. I try to do that through my music. I try to share those kind of ideas and feelings with those who may not be aware of them. I feel the same way with jazz music. With when I sing or when I write or when I um, teach, it gives me a feeling inside that I'm doing something that's bigger than me. I'm plugged into a life force that's so much larger than I could ever imagine. And it makes me feel like I'm at one with nature. I'm one with the universe, if you will. No matter how much I learn about this jazz music, I know I'll never master it. I'll, I know I'll never come close to a total mastery. But every day that I wake up, every day that I get up, I look myself in the mirror and I say, today is another day to strive for perfection. And I try to do that in my music. And I try to write lyrics that speak to that, that empower people that may feel that they have no power. Lyrics that tell people it's gonna be all right. You just got to find your power inside. One of the most important things in life is not only finding your gift, but helping others to find their gifts. So I, that's something that I try to do. And I hopefully I'm able to reach people through my performances and through my music and through my lyrics. And I'll continue to do that as long as I live. I'm Sweet Lou Olatosin, and I'm a jazz singer.